Hey, I am super excited today because you know I'm going to be letting you in on how I got started on the wedding and event planning journey. Guys, it's been an amazing, amazing, amazing ride. And sometimes I look at how far I've come and I'm like, babe, wow. You know, sometimes when I tell people that um, I have done this for like over 13 years now, they're like, really? You know, it's so even funny how that my last event, that was on the 4th of February, I met one very old vendor. I think the very first time I met that man was when I was like 16 or 17 at an event where I went to like Osha. And anytime I like relive this moment again and again since the, that time I met, like since Saturday, I'm just like, wow, it's it's been a long time coming, guys. Yes. <laughs> so I want to, um, you know, just to let you in on this journey. And I'm actually doing this because there is a big announcement, guys. I'm so excited. But yeah, you have to like join me on this series. Yes, it's going to be a series till I launch. Yes, I'm launching a product. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, you have to like just come along with me and just enjoy the entire process, you know yeah I'll, I'll be carrying you along on how i go into this um, wedding planning industry and my journey into actually creating these products yeah yeah okay so guys how and why i got into wedding planning right so i used to like work with an event planning coi um back then before i gained admission into the university i started out working with them as an usher and then i just help out when necessary you know and i started like developing like more interesting event planning not because of any of the glitz and glamour right it was just because i was always curious as to why you have a planner and some weddings are still like very disorganized and then when i see some other events that are like beautifully coordinated and things i'm like why didn't those people just do what these people do you know so that their own wedding will be beautiful as well like do they plan on getting married twice i mean i was still a very young girl then i'm still very young but i was a younger girl then so i just used to like ask those questions and then i got like really really curious and i started like digging deep like okay so what usually what, what really happens is it that they don't listen and then out of my curiosity you know i decided i wanted to learn more and i wanted to go into events i started researching a lot you know about events how events is done out of nigeria you know how people can actually get the best of their big day i started reading up a lot about events and then i decided to like take a course in events in 2013 and that was how it all started for me and i started planning like weddings and it was just more of helping brides to be and grooms to be like just make the best of decision so where their wedding is concerned and enjoy their big day you know along the line sometimes i do some events and some of them will go very well others i have to even drop along the way because they aren't listening to any of my advice and it's not about the money for me i just want every bride i want every groom to like really enjoy their wedding right and <laughs> you know that's why I, I do wedding planning i really love but i just really love weddings right and i and the sole aim is because i don't think anybody should plan to get married twice right so if it's just going to be once why don't you just you know enjoy your big day and then along the way i started a blog you know i created an instagram account where i would like bring people on board do series i was always just talking about how to get the best of your big day as a couple you know how to enjoy your events and all of those things and a lot of people started buying into it you know some other professionals would be like ah tell them so i knew that people were actually going through like a lot where wedding planning is concerned right and yeah that has been it for me like the journey and the bad experiences <laughs> oh my god so i would use like a doctor um and a patient example so we all know that when you fail to take the advice of a professional it always comes with like consequences 
So imagine a doctor advising you about what to do concerning a certain ailment and you are telling the doctor you are not going to take the advice or you decide to do your own thing. You know what the consequence of that will be. Same as wedding planning or event planning. If your planner is actually advising you on what to do and you don't take any of those advice, there would be consequences, right? Because these are like the professionals who have walked the road. They know what you need to do to enjoy your big day. So it is always best to take the advice. So the bad experiences are just, you know, when you actually get to advise some clients and they decide that they wouldn't take that advice and sometimes things just go south with the wedding planning. When I was younger in um, the industry, I would still manage, just try to do a lot of crisis management, go on with the events. Some of them would appreciate, some of them wouldn't appreciate. Because my priority is not your money, right? My priority is not to post on Instagram. My priority is that you look back at your event and you're like, hey, I want a repeat, <laughs> you know? So that's about it. And the good experience is when, you know, people listen to you, your client listen to you, they allow you to take control of everything you know and at the end of the day you see how much they enjoy the events nobody's micromanaging anything nobody's watching out for any details they just pretty much just enjoy themselves and i'm just looking at them and how they're enjoying themselves their first dance the couple's toast the games and i'm like oh this is beautiful <laughs> see me all blushing and smiling like i love beautiful weddings and i like that couple actually really enjoy themselves you know when planning their wedding how i came about building structures and systems oh my i mean for something that i have done for many years now officially i started business in 2014 so my first major event was in 2014 you know so for something that i've done for that long <laughs> for every mistake for every error i go back and i ask myself how do i correct this what can i do to you know make things better i remember one job that i thought i was going to get yeah i remember this experience and i'd like to share i thought i was going to actually get that job i remember the lady had said we should meet someone someone referred me and so the, the lady had said we should meet somewhere and i went to meet her and we had a very great meeting and after the meeting she stopped talking to me Oh, well i thought we had a great meeting <laughs> after this meeting she stopped talking to me she stopped responding to my chat you know and i kept wondering what happened what happened i can't even remember if she actually responded with how that maybe my structures weren't that great or something but she went to like another colleague in the industry i saw the wedding online i saw the review she gave you know and everything and i kept asking myself what am i not doing right you know what am i not doing okay you know you can imagine those kind of experiences would actually make you sit tight how did i onboard her like what really went wrong you know so those kind of experiences actually made me you know sit back and i started building structures to my business you know in terms of like curating my contracts that work um building my my invoicing hub you know, ensuring that I do receipts. So I started reading more about business, right? How to actually run a business. I started reading more about that, you know, um, how that everything needs to be done online because some people have done assumptions and verbal communication in time past and things didn't go right. You know, um, I have I had vendors who messed me up in time past and some clients even cancelled on me because of the vendors that i chose for them you know those kind of things would help you to put like structures in place <laughs> you know i remember one incident i still thought about it this morning how that somebody is still owing me for a wedding till date and i'm like how did this ever happen to me you know so now what i do is yes you have to pay me in full even though i always preach that um why do we always say payment in full, payment in full. Me, I know that I would always do a good job. And in a case where I fail to do something, which I would ever hardly do, you know, or not even do at all, I would do a refund of what that thing cost, right? So, um, because my business is, integrity is very, very key for me. So, but I don't, I'll never leave that to chance again. You pay me my money in full, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I mean, I trusted people in the past, 
I mean, this business is a business of emotion. I'm like, don't worry, it will pay. It will pay. And after the event, this person just, you know, ghosted me. Sometimes, I think one or twice, he would even call to say, ah, don't worry, I'll pay your money now. I'm like, ah, for almost two years. Well, Baba, it's okay if you pay, fine. If you don't pay, fine, you know. But you see, these kind of experiences would help you start building, like, you know, structures and systems, you know, to your business. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can remember any other thing. But yes, now I would say that our systems and our structures, they're actually very solid in terms of, I can even, people say, oh, can you leave your events for other people to plan? In as much as I love to be at the core of planning, yes, the way our business is run right now, I can actually leave my business. I can even transition, like, if I'm not there, someone can take up an event because everything is in a file. Somebody can take it up and continue from where I stopped. So, yeah, that's about it. We're we building structures and we're building um, systems around my event planning. So, how did I come about the idea of this product that I'm launching? It was pretty much feedback from clients, to be honest. I've had clients who would reach out to me to say, oh, at this war, I really, really have loved to hire you, but you are very expensive. And I'm like, no, I know what some of my colleagues charge in the industry. I'm not very expensive. I just do a lot of work that requires a lot of money, you know, and I still need to make money while I teach, you know. So, um, <laughs> and some of them are like, yeah, I know. So I started thinking about, okay, what can I do to just address this set of people? And that was how the idea for this, um, this product that I'm about to launch, you know, came about. In building systems and structure, I was trying to like simplify my work process. And while I was doing that, I just saw that, oh, this could actually help a bride to be or a groom to be, you know, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do this for bride I'm going to be, <laughs> you know. So that was how the idea of this product came about. Um, and it took me about two years to put this together. I remember it was when I was pregnant with my um, first child. <laughs> I'm saying it like I have a second child. But yes, when I was pregnant with my first son, um, I was, and it was COVID period. We we're all at home. And also, um, at that period, I just lost a job at that time. And I had like a lot of time on my hands. So I started just working on this um, product, like working on this product, working on this product. It didn't make sense when I started. It was a lot of work. Sometimes I won't sleep at night. You know when, you know, you had the heavy face of pregnancy and maybe you cannot sleep. So I was using all that opportunity to just like put things together. So that was how I started like putting everything together, you know, everything about this product together. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it guys. <laughs> like I said, it's a series, you know, I'm launching a product, but there's going to be like a series to, you know, bring you in on everything that I've been doing, the process, um, just everything. I don't want to spill. Uh, so comment below guys if you can guess what exactly it is that i am launching yes i want to see it please comment below if you can if you can guess you know what exactly it is that i am launching and also you know we have like some pages on instagram you know we'll leave on the screen please follow those pages more insights and tips will be shared on those pages my name is adesua larry wajidada I like to call myself at this hour. Oh, for those of you who are new here, I'm the bridal coach. I am the event mentor. <laughs> and yes, I love all things wedding planning, events, and entrepreneurship. And yes, you'll find me also talking about my faith life sometimes here. Yes. And yeah, that's about it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.